This video contains spoilers for the Barbie movie, just so you know. This video is going to either rally everybody to my cause or piss everybody off, but my Jane Animations video already did that, so. The Barbie movie. People either love this movie or absolutely despise it, and unfortunately, I am in the latter camp, but just hold on, because I'm gonna explain why, and I'm also gonna go over the good things first. So before we talk about the numerous, incredibly obnoxious, hypocritical, and ironic problems with the movie's plot, we're gonna go over some things that the movie did right. First of all, in terms of casting, Margaret Robbie is absolutely incredible in the role of Barbie, it was as though she was born to play that role and you know ryan gosling that's also very incredible he was very entertaining for the duration of the movie the movie in and of itself was pretty entertaining to watch they start off in barbie land which is essentially a one-to-one -one recreation of those old plastic barbie houses that everybody used to play with i say everybody i it definitely wasn't me but you know i mean even the sand in the barbie movie is just made out of pure plastic also throughout the duration of this video i won't be able to show a lot of clips from the barbie movie since it just came out and I literally just saw it, so nobody really has access to that yet. The movie as a whole has some pretty awesome cinematography. The characters are really interesting to look at, either because of the incredibly colorful background of the fictional Barbie land, or because Barbie and her friends having such incredibly colorful costumes contrasts to the background of the real world when they eventually make it there. Similarly to the movie Elemental, this film's greatest strength in terms of its entertainment is watching how these characters interact with the world around them. Getting to see an incredibly attractive woman run around in this super colorful getup while other people are just really confused as to why she's acting so strangely is always a good watch. Not to mention the film has a pretty interesting narrative which is this kind of underlying theme where Barbie herself is perfect while girls who used to play with them developed, you know, image issues because Barbie's perfect and they're not, which is something that's criminally underrated in the final cut of the movie but that's something we'll talk about later it's insanely overlooked and is replaced by this kind of garbage feminist anti-men propaganda but again we'll talk about that a bit later in the video the musical numbers are also super entertaining super catchy songs ryan gosling is obviously very entertaining watching him bounce around the screen it's a great fun time in the movie there's also this mother and daughter that's stationed in the real world who actually owns the physical barbie that margaret robbie is playing as and i think that their dynamic starts off as rough but gets really kind of adorable by the end of the film and that's pretty much the end of the good stuff there were some funny moments here and there but unfortunately Unfortunately, now we got to talk about the bad stuff. I did say I love the mother-daughter relationship in this movie, but it definitely does not start off that way. The daughter is the absolute most liberal, Twitter-addicted teenage girl I've ever seen, and her entire personality can be summed up with one single movie quote. Can we go? Look! I'm a teenage girl. I'd rather be anywhere than here. I'm all about long, sullen silences, followed by mean comments, followed by more silences. So what's it gonna be, huh? Long, sullen silence or mean comment? Go on. You got me in a box here. <laughs> The entire movie from start to finish, especially involving Ken's character, is this massive political message around the absolute tragedy that is the patriarchy. For those of you who haven't seen the movie yet, again, spoilers, Barbie essentially starts to develop imperfections. Do you guys ever think about dying? And a result of those imperfections, she travels to the real world to figure out who is playing with her real world doll counterpart and why all of a sudden they're starting to develop issues. But immediately when she enters the real world in a 100 kilometer radius, every single man is depicted as the most meat brain single cell homunculi that Kat calls her obviously because men are the scum of the actual earth. It's the real world. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? Yeah, they're also staring at me. <laughs> comes across as very forced and very cringy and it's a really big problem I have with these movies because Hollywood is constantly trying to push these types of messages and we'll get into the intense contrast between movies like this and movies that are actually good but the reason it's so frustrating is because it's very obvious that in movies like this they're pushing an agenda while using the excuse of satire what I mean by that is they'll play off of this kind of patriarchal horror 
horrible society where women are just these innocent human beings and men are just these absolute moronic douchebags. And then they'll throw in like one or two jokes in there and be like, guys, it's satire. What, what, what are you, what are you getting mad at? It's literally satire. I don't understand what the problem is. But then at the same time, a couple minutes later, they'll have an incredibly serious, no joking, no audio stingers moment where they talk about how bad the patriarchy is. Essentially removing the fact that it's satire because now you're seriously talking as though the satirical point of this movie is meant to be taken seriously. It, it doesn't work. It comes across as incredibly obnoxious. Even within the movie, there's this incredible contrasted irony where Ken is quite literally described to be only existing for Barbie's affection. By the end of the movie, he kind of becomes his own character in a really mocking way, but whatever. And nobody has a problem with it throughout the entire movie, other than when Ken starts to like hardcore crush on Barbie, and then that's that's the problem. But nobody has a problem with the fact that he's literally designed to look pretty for Barbie to like look at every once in a while, but nobody cares. Don't get me wrong, towards the end of the movie, Ken comes back into Barbie land and being fueled by this problematic patriarchal society that is the real world comes back and essentially takes over Barbie land and kicks all the women out, which is a terrible thing to do. The main issue that these Barbies have a problem with is that these Kens are replacing every female in power with a man in power, which if that bothers them, highlights the problem with there only being women to begin with. If there's nothing but women in positions of power, like being a president, firefighter, whatever, where all the men are kind of subjugated to this submissive secondary role if you replace all of that and then have a problem with it it didn't work to begin with i'm not saying that if women controlled the government it would be inherently flawed but if you have a problem with it only being men in the parliament or running the world you should also have a problem with it being only women <laughs> it's a vicious double standard that absolutely plagues hollywood nowadays and the men in this movie are such like beta cucks it's hilarious they're all depicted as being like stupid ape men whereas all of the women are just like normal women like they're just like they're very normal human beings as normal as you could get for a fictional barbie movie but you know what i mean all of that highlights a huge tragedy in this movie because as i said before an underlying narrative they could have run with which would have been so much more impactful and so much more emotionally intelligent which is the fact that Barbie, especially when she was made, was meant to be the pinnacle of beauty and she was meant to be perfect. And they could have explored the impact that that had on little girls and society as a whole in terms of how women perceive themselves. And the movie could be about how women are kind of taking back the label of perfection to be like, yes, our imperfections are what make us beautiful. That would have been awesome. And that's almost what it was about. But then the mother halfway through this film goes on this monologue about how hard it is to be a woman. And what she says is interchangeable with being a human being. She's like, you have to be a boss and also not be mean. Duh. But you think you can be a boss and be an asshole? No. And then she's talking about you have to be a leader, but you can't be sassy. And I'm like, duh. Now, if you don't believe me, if you think that I'm the only one who thinks this negatively about this movie, just give me a second. This also highlights the total hypocrisy of, of Hollywood as a whole. Take the Barbie movie, which just came out, and take the movie Nefarious. Nefarious was regarded by us, essentially the audience, as a Christian masterpiece. If you go on to the critic score of the movie Nefarious, it has incredibly low critic score. People call it propaganda. People say it sucks. People say it's super like Christian and like this is a horrible movie. And the audience score is super high. Everybody says they love it. And everybody says it's a really good movie. The cinematography, the acting, it's a masterpiece. Now go over to the Barbie movie. Critics say it's incredible. It's it's a 90% score clapping all the way to freaking kingdom come, right? Now take a look at the audience score. Thousands of one-star reviews. 
thousands of one star reviews boggling it down to like a three out of five star score rating this highlights the difference between people seeing the movie and hollywood trying to inflate their numbers nefarious an actually good really emotionally intelligent movie that exposes a lot of hypocrisy within our society gets review bombed barbie <laughs> which just plays into all of these woke patriarchal whatever 90 percent uh-huh sure okay the barbie movie as a whole had some really strong points i think it was really entertaining and had some really awesome emotional beats but they were criminally overlooked for this incredibly woke agenda that they were forming and it was honestly just really exhausting to have that butt into otherwise really emotionally awesome parts of the film but anyways Tell me if you like this movie. If you didn't, me neither. <laughs> and if you did, that's totally fine. You're, you're entitled to your own opinion. And I do admit that there's some pretty entertaining parts of this movie. So let me know what you thought in the comment section below. But anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Night-night.